But the other thing in retirement that you got to do is you've got to protect your savings from inflation. Inflation is like a virus that gets worse over time. And this chart shows $10,000 of purchasing power at 4% inflation will be cut by more than 50% in 20 years. It'll be cut by more than two thirds in 30 years. So Steve, if you think about it, not only do you need to plan to have income to age 100 and beyond, mm -hmm. you really need to plan to have increasing income to age 100 and beyond. Now look, this is where stocks can fit. This is where mutual funds, this is where managed money can fit. Um, real estate has been historically a very good hedge against inflation over time. But, you know, as we were talking earlier, there are other ways to protect against inflation. People need to know, I've already got guaranteed income that will kick in when I turn age 60. But I bought even more that'll kick in when I turn age 65. I bought even more that'll kick in when I turn age 70. I bought even more that'll kick in when I turn age 75. So I've already bought guaranteed income in a ladder to ensure I will have increasing income for the rest of my life. And I did that all with guaranteed products. You can also get cost of living riders on these lifetime income uh, products so that you can be guaranteed to have that income go up by 4% or 3% every year for the rest of your well, life. I saw one that was at six. Yeah, you can, th there's products out there that will do that. Okay, so I can use for, for to hedge inflation, to take some of the cost of living off the table, I could use these annuities that you're talking about that that can have cold. It doesn't come automatic, right? Right. you got to okay. select okay. it. Okay. But I might also I'll still be in the market, getting right. a little bit on my dividends or a little bit of stock appreciation. I could be in real estate. Like you said, historically, it's been a hedge against other pro, other investments. And I like your other thing. But, and then I could actually work a little to take the edge off it. Right. And so there are many ways that you can do it. It's not an all or nothing thing. If, if you feel more mm -hmm. comfortable in the market, you can have some money in the market. The mm -hmm. market over time should protect you from inflation. If you're a real estate person, you can have have some money in real estate. Real estate over time typically protects you from inflation. Some commodities will do it. Or if you're not the risk type person, you can do it with guaranteed products as well. Whatever fits you best.